come out here to do a little bit. I got this poor old bush hog off. Everything's greased up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take this poor little muffler with me to the house. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, do some Mexican modifications to it, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's shut it off for a second. Well, something's hung up there. What, what the? Oh, that's what it is. Hang on a second. Let me, uh. There we go. Okay. So. Had to pull the radiator and stuff out of it to get the crank seal in it. But she's in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. She ain't puking oil no more. Let's see if we can get in there and. Well. It's in there. Um, replaced a few hose clamps and fixed some stuff. I did get my injector return lines on. They're a little bit bigger than I wanted. I've just got them zip tied for now. I'm going to see if I can get some of those little squeeze clamps to go on it. They'll work. Uh, air filter was pretty clean. I went ahead and beat some of the dirt out of it. Um, poor transmission, just full of water. Um, we got rain coming. Uh, well, you can't see it from here, but... Uh, to the west of us, there's a line of storms coming in, so I bought me a tarp. I'm going to go ahead and tarp this thing just to keep further amounts of water out of it. Um, like I said, I got the drive line at the house for that. I did pick up some grease fittings for it. Got that going. Um, I was going to take her for a little drive, see how she does. Uh, now that the bush hog's off of it, you can see it don't even pick it up. It just just drags the damn thing uh, we'll take a little ride on it uh, this is the the tube uh, th that's the little crankcase vent this little plate right here I'm assuming it's got some kind of mesh in there as a filter um, I put this little piece of tube on there that's the piece of tube that was clogged up that's a new piece um, let's bust her off real quick Man, she idles just beautiful. I mean, just purrs like a damn kitten. I mean, this thing's idling at like 300. Um, I did put John Deere oil in it, but I put some extra zinc in it just because I don't trust today's, today's oils. There we go. 1,600 hours on it. There we go. Panel's a little loose. I don't know if anything works on it. I kind of doubt it. I think everything is... I think all the lights and stuff are unplugged, but that's here nor there. Like I said, I might have turned her up a little bit. The fuel gauge actually does work. When I got out here yesterday, it was, I don't know, quarter tank. I probably put, well, whatever was in my little tank there, so it may have been about 12 gallons. We're going to take her for a ride. Let's see. Put her in fifth gear. Nah, let's get a little more than that. Let's go high gear. God, yeah, look at them storms rolling in. Well, we're just going to ride it around the property. See if we can get a little heat in the transmission. She runs good now.
about time to cut down here again. And my neighbor come over, he was over here yesterday while I was working on this thing. He goes, you know what? I got a finish mower that I never use. You need to come get it. So, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's a 72 inch uh, bush hog brand, I believe, finish mower. So it's got new blades, gearbox has been serviced, drive line brand new, it just needs wheel bearings. So, hell, I'm good with that. I still got a lot of work to do right here, but she's getting there. Man, she sounds good with no mufflator on her. Maybe I'll just do the uh, the old EPA delete on it. This thing way before EPA though. I think it's a 86 model. Either way. Well, boys, I'm gonna get back to work buttoning up a few things on this and then covering it with a tarp and uh, get back to town. I'll. Uh, I'll take a little more video now that I'm a little more conscious of picking shit up and taking video of it. We'll see y'all. The beginnings of a new exhaust flange. I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, y'all see the finished product. Don't make fun of all my sections because this is all scrap this cost me absolutely nothing but half a can of paint I think that's two and a quarter a little piece of three inch all the way up with no muffler and you can see how neck down that is well this one ain't neck down She's wide open except for that little bit of weld I got right there, but I had to beat it in to miss the uh, where I got to put the bolts in. How about that? That shit cost me nothing. I don't really like to brag on myself, but I think I did a pretty damn good job. That some bitch is straight up and down. See how she looks with the hood down. Wow, I got to say that looks incredible. I think I did pretty damn good. Seems like I got my measurements all right. The flange fit perfect. It's a little bit close to the fasteners, but I mean, you can get an open end wrench on it. Wow, that, that freaking fits amazing. Wow, I, I dig it. How about that? Let's uh, let's fire this old girl up and see what she sounds like. Uh, let me figure out what I did with the key on it. There it is. Let me get the keys. I'm hoping I'm keeping my poor radio station out of the background. We'll just turn that off. Uh, all right. See what she sounds like, boys. Pretty exciting. Give her a little bit of fuel. dig the shit out of that that uh that came out beautiful i mean just beautiful hell yeah now she's starting to look like a tractor 
Damn, that looks good. All right. I'm going to run her around and get her... Well, I really don't need to get her warm. What I need to do is pressure wash this thing. So I'm going to go set up up the hill. My brother lives next door to me. I'm going to use his water spigot, and I got my pressure washer with me. So I'm going to get all that stuff set up, and I'm going to see if I can set this thing up on a time lapse or something, and y'all can watch me uh, clean the crap off of it. Uh, we'll be back. I'll give y'all a little before how crusty she is. Pretty, pretty crusty. I've already soaked her down with the soap. You can see shit growing everywhere. She's pretty nasty. All right, set y'all up on a time lapse. See how this goes. Holy crap. She come out green, boys. Wow. She did good. I know it looks good because it's wet, but, um, you know, everything looks good when it's wet. <clears throat> uh, let's keep this family friendly, except for the uh, curse words that come out of my mouth. Uh, wow. She cleaned up nice. She needs a little paint, but uh, it's green again. There's so much trash stuck in here by the tank. It'd be all right. And we got some wiring. And, but, uh, wow, she's clean. Looks nice. Looks real nice. Wow. All right. We're going to put the pressure washer and stuff up. Then we're going to put her back down in that hole. And we're going to get to dropping all this hydraulic oil out of it. Or should I say mostly water. And uh, I got everything but one strainer filter that's in the bottom of the case. Uh, so we're going to drop the hydraulic filter, all the oil out of it. We're going to pull the strainer out and clean it. I'm going to leave it overnight dripping in a bucket because my filter's supposed to be here tomorrow. But golly, Pete, boy, she looks nice. Wow. What a good looking little deer. All right, then. Let me get all this uh, cleaned up and we'll be back. All right, I got all that crap cleaned up. <laughs> We're going to dig in here and see what we can find. I'm going to need this guy. And I'm probably going to need that guy. Let's see what we can drain out of this whole thing. We'll try and do this one-handed if I can. Don't see a drain on the bottom of the transmission, but we got this. And I know my strainer filter is in there, which is the one I'm waiting on. So we're going to pull this little plug out right here and see what comes out of her. Set this right here. I don't know what y'all can see and what you can't. I get my bucket open and get that plug out. I'll pick you back up and we'll look and see what kind of crap's coming out of this poor old thing. Ooh, yeah. All right. Bucket plug. Oh, that wasn't very tight. There we go. I should be able to get that from my fingers. Blind old fingers. All right. Let's see what comes out of here. Uh, yeah. That's pretty watery. I know that transmission's fuller than that, but I have a feeling that strainer is so clogged up that it's not going to let a bunch of wool out. I just have a feeling, because this thing is way up the dipstick, and I'm not seeing, um, I don't know, is that a drain plug? That is a drain plug. Huh, and there's a dirt dauber. Dang dog dirt dauber, you get out of there. Alright, well... Let me put the plug back in this, and we'll pull that other plug and see what we get. That is pretty watery, though. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know if... I don't 
have no tripod or nothing. We're just gonna use this here crescent wrench. All right. Let's see what we got, y'all. Oh yeah, that's a drain plug. Ooh, yep, that's uh, that's pretty watery. Hydraulic oil is not supposed to be that color. Ooh. I have a feeling I'm gonna get way more than one five gallon bucket out of this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop short, and we're gonna go ahead and pull. There's a spin-on filter. Uh, there we're gonna pull that dude off before this bucket gets too full i got a few minutes before it does that i don't know what this shit says in greasy sticks i gotta tell y'all that uh that little motor sounds good now that she's got some exhaust that'll let that turbo breathe oh yeah now the guy I got this from told me that they had changed the hydraulic oil in it a couple years ago, but it's been setting for I don't know how long. So this is probably new oil. If it wasn't, it would be a little darker, but it's quite full of water. I've only got two empty buckets with me, so surely that's enough to uh, catch all this nasty oil. I hear my neighbor across the way cutting his yard. That reminds me, I need to go see Duke. Me and his dog are tight. Every time I come over, I go over there to see old Duke. Duke's good dog. All right, we're gonna cap this and go ahead and pull our filter off the other side. Cause that should leave us enough room to do that. Let me, I'm gonna need a rag. Oh, eat up. Get too old for this shit. Oh God, set y'all down for just a second. Let me wipe, wipe my mittens off. Okay. Now let's see if we can pull this filter off of here. Okay, let's see here. We got some trash. Is that just water? Yeah, that's just water. Okay. Let me see if I can move my bucket. Okay. Oh my god. I had to use two hands for that one. I don't know if y'all saw any of that since he was propped up against my leg. Uh, what the hell is this? That's some kind of damn... I don't know what the hell that goes to, but... Uh... We're just going to put it right up here, out the way. We'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah, I don't exactly know what that is. Hey, there's a there's the plug for it. That must be some kind of temp sensor or something, like hydraulic temp or something like that. All right, let's see what all comes out of this filter. Watery hydraulic oil. I think this is a Wix. Yeah, it is. I got me a deer filter. Why not? It's a little more money, but uh, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I need to adjust the brakes on this thing. He told me they had put new brake shoes on it, but God, the pedal goes all the way down. Alrighty. I'll clean some of this trash off while we're down here. There we 
go. Now that filter was in the way, I couldn't get the pressure washer up in there. Okay, so. Huh. Oh no. We're just we're just gonna kind of put that up out of the way there, little fella. And let me see if I can clean this here lens off my phone. See if that helps the picture quality any. That's a little better. It's just sticky out here, so I think the uh, the haze you're seeing is probably because it's shitty out here. All right, I think we did pretty good. Ceiling surface is pretty clean. We're gonna grab that new filter and spin that dude on. And then we'll get that second bucket and finish draining all this crap. Okay, deer filter, deer filter. I don't think I love you anymore. Oh shit, I almost dropped it in my bucket. That would have been a bad day. Okay, replace filter. I'm not gonna be able to put oil back in it today because I'm waiting on that strainer filter. <sighs> How long are the threads on this thing? Jesus. Okay, there we go. All right, let's scoot this bucket so I can get my damned old wrench on her. And... Anything, in my opinion, and this is what I do, that has a long service life, I always tighten it. Um, yeah, especially on a diesel, because things rattle. Um, I tighten, you know, I'll, I'll spin it on hand tight, and then I'll give her an extra round or so with a with a wrench. Um, anyway, let's let's drop this plug here. Keep draining this shit. And I'm sure y'all don't want to watch oil drain, so I'm going to finish draining this and we'll pull that screen filter out and uh, we'll see what's in there. Alright, here we go. She's been draining for a minute. I got this going. See if we can get the rest of these bolts out. And pray to God I don't drop them in the bucket. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. Oh, God. That's gone. That's going to overflow my bucket. Hold, please. Okay. Oh, that got a... That got a little full. Now we can pull some bolts back out and let her fly. wonder how much more is in here. Now that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit old. She's probably gonna overflow this bucket too. It's all right, I don't need the grass to grow here anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of oil. She's going to overflow that bucket. If it don't quit soon. Yeah, well, maybe she's about out. Let's see if I can put this phone up in here. Somewhere. No, 
Maybe like that. Hey. That might work. Let's see how bad off this strainer is. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't know what's on that, but it looks like hell. Yeah, it looks like shit. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I don't know what that shit is, but I'm glad I got this filter. It looks paper, but it's actually a very fine screen mesh. So, I don't know what that is. That looks like shit. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah. That's why the hydraulics don't work. There's a bunch of nasty shit in there. I'm glad I pulled that off. I'm glad I got that filter ordered, too. We're going to try and reuse that little O-ring. Because that damn O-ring is $15. Who would have thunk it? Damn filter ain't but 30 So what I think I'm going to do... Um, this buck is damn near full, but I kind of want to leave this sitting here draining overnight. I'll cover my tractor up with my, with my tarp and leave this thing here and we'll get as much out of here as we can. Maybe the rest of it will come on out of there. I don't really feel any dirt or anything down in there. Mating surface feels good. It ain't too jacked up or anything. Rusty. Feels pretty good. All right, well, we're gonna leave that drain and I'm gonna get to try and work on the three point stuff and see what we can get done with that. Well, it's kind of a pain in the ass for me to work and hold a camera because, uh, I ain't got three arms. So I got a little work done. Um, got my new sway chain. New three top hitch. Um, fixed my little holder for the top hitch. I uh, got all new pins everywhere. Got the load leveler fixed and greased. It works again. Um, I got a piece of a sway chain here. I got one part on order. Uh, I got a new nut and washer coming because it is a fine thread 17 millimeter because it's a Yanmar and I got the rest of this on order so it should be here tomorrow along with my filter um, got this straightened out a little bit it was bent all the way up to here uh, let's see three point looking pretty good what else we got? Probably ought to put the drive line back on the bush hog. The tail whip's garbage, but I'm not worried about it right now. It'll cut. Um, got a few more things to grease. And uh, she may be good. This thing's still dripping. And that bucket is about to overflow. I think we're just going to leave it there. Oh, let's see. She's looking pretty good, boys. Radiator's all clean. I probably ought to check the fluids in it. Since I had to pull it out last time, I did bring a gallon of coolant with me. Well, it looks good in there. It's a little dirty. Probably stand to be changed, but I don't have another empty bucket. Anyway, that's going to about do it for today's video. I think we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff that I filmed in as one long video so y'all can see the little progression um man it looks a hell of a lot better anyway we gonna end it here i'm gonna clean up my stuff and get to the house and find me something to eat because uh i was hungry fat man gotta eat anyway that's it for today when my parts come in tomorrow we'll come back and we'll finish it and hopefully we'll get the bush hog hooked up to it and see if she'll do some mowing until then been turtle man y'all stay tuned